All right, g'day, Taz Teachers. How you going? Hope you're all right with all this crazy shit going on. Um, uh, for starters, if you are already pretty handy at using, you know, Google Drive, Classroom, Forms, and stuff like that, you probably don't need to watch this whole video. This is just going to be a little instructional video for those that aren't super comfortable with using all the Google stuff. Um, basically, what it's going to go through is I've made all of the for industrial tech furniture or timber products and furniture technologies. The past 10 years of um, past papers, I've put them into Google Forms, which can, I'll show you what it can do. Um, this is a 2018 one, for example. So I've broken up into multiple choice is in one Google Form, and then the short and long responses is in a different one. Um, the reason being the multiple choice, I've set this up so it automatically marks and automatically gives them feedback, but the short and long responses, um, you'll have to mark because you know you have to read through it and whatever. But um, this is when I got my, just when I set it up, I got my year eights to do it, um, see how it worked. And for the 10 multiple choice questions, once they've done it, you can go into responses over here and it gives you all sorts of cool feedback, like tells you, you know, the um, points distribution, who got 10 out of 10, how many got whatever. Um, it also shows you the questions which they frequently, or like most frequently got wrong. Um, shows you what each student got shows you for each question where the, where the answers kind of fell, what was most commonly answered correctly or what was most commonly answered wrong, and things like that. So yeah, heaps of cool um, data you get from this. And it's all set up. I just got to show you guys how to make a copy of all these and put them into the Google Classroom. So that's what we're going to go through now. Um, so to do that, uh, in the email I sent, or the email where you probably got this link from, um, I've sent this Word document to you, right? And it's got a link for the 2019 multiple choice Google Forms and short and long response Google Forms. For the 2018 multiple choice, 2018 short and long response, so on and so forth, all the way back to 2010. I shouldn't be fucked doing any others. Um, so what you'll need to do, the first thing you need to do is go into your Google Drive, right? I think you should all have a Google Drive. Just make a new folder and call it um, past papers or something. Past papers, Google. Forms. How about that? Right. We need to have somewhere that we can save them when you open them. So past papers, Google Forms seems like a pretty, pretty good spot. Next, you're going to open this Word document, and you're going to on a Word document you have to hold down Control and click to open up the link, and then it should it take two seconds to open up. Come on, let's go. Ah, there we go. Perfect. So. It's going to open up, it's going to look like this. It's going to say, would you like to make a copy of 2019, blah, 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 multiple choice. You want to say make a copy, and then it'll just take a sec to make your own copy. I can't just give you the ones that I've made because if I gave you those, then we'd get all the data of all the students that have ever done it. Whereas if you make your own copy, you're only going to get the data from your own students. So you're getting your own students' data, not everyone else's. So you can check how your own kids are going. Right, so once you've done that, all you need to do is in the top, here, there's two things you need to do. Just over here, get rid of copy of. So it's just called the 2019, blah, blah, blah. And then we just need to select the folder you want to save it in. So we're going to go down to past papers, Google Forms, and we say move here. All right, it has been moved to blah, 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 blah. Great, so we can exit that. Now, we go back to the Word document, we do the next one. Control, click. Make a copy again. And we do the two things at the top. We get rid of the copy of, and we select the folder, which is the past papers. And we move it in there. So you're gonna do that again and again and again for all of these links. If you wanna use them all, you don't have to. Like, do what you want, I don't care. Um, all of those, then you should have a folder that looks like this, right? It's got all the papers in there from 2019 to 2010. Once you've done that, then I'll show you how you can go about um, you can go about distributing them to your students in the I find the easiest way. If we go to Google Classroom, here. Yeah. Now, um, a lot of you probably already have Google Classroom set up. If you don't, I'll just really quickly show you how to set one up. Um, my Year 12 Industrial Tech class is here, but it's super easy to set one up. You just go on the plus icon up here, create class, class name 12 FTF, whatever. Don't need to fill in any of that. You just need the class name, really. <coughs> Create that. And then 
it gives you a code up here, so P-O-Y-B-Z-L-2. You need to give that code to your students, and then when they go to Google Classroom, they use that code to join your class. Um, if you already have a class with all your students in it, great, good stuff. Um, but yeah, if you're making a class, give your students that code, and then they can join, and they'll get all the work that you put in here. But we're going to go to classwork. We're going to create an assignment, and we're going to call it HSC past papers, instructions, you can type whatever you want, say something like, you know, um, complete these past papers and I will give you feedback whenever I get the chance, whatever, um, something like that. Then we go to the add icon here, you're going to want to go to Google Drive, go to my Google Drive, find where you save them. Yours will be in your past papers Google Forms. I've already saved mine somewhere else. Mine are in here. Um, there we go. But I'm gonna, then you're going to want to click on that bottom one, scroll down to the 2019, hold down Shift and click. So Shift click, it'll select all the forms. Go Add. Then boom, all there, they're all there. Now, it's got a really cool feature if you want. Um, locked mode on Chromebooks here. If you flick that off or on, um, if the students are doing it on a Chromebook, if you have Chromebooks at school, it when they use a Chromebook and open that form, it sort of blocks all access to everything else. So they can't go to the internet and look up the answers. They can't open up another tab and quickly Google what's this or what's that. It, it's completely locked onto the test. That's all they can do until they finish. So that's a pretty cool feature. Um, on the left here, you just make sure it's for all students. You can make it unmarked because like, it doesn't really matter. Um, due date, put one in if you want. Don't have to do a topic just yet. If you're super organized with Google Classroom, you can make topics, but for now, we'll just leave it. Um, that's all done. So we go assign. And once it's done, it'll take a minute because there's a lot of forms to put in. Um, your students, when they go to the classwork tab in their classroom, they'll have a HSC past papers thing. And then here, they've got 2010, 2010, 11, 11, 12, 12 so on and so forth, they've got them all there, right? Um, I'll quickly just, uh, so yeah, you can use that, um, get your kids to do it, and then you can check all the um, data. I'll quickly just show you um, what it actually looks like for the kids. Um, we'll, well, yeah, we'll go with 2019, why not? So when they are doing it, it looks like this. They've got to put their email address in, so I'll just put mine in. Then they've got the 10 questions here. So we'll just go with whatever. I'm not going to answer them right. I'll just click on whatever. It goes like this. Uh, bu -bu 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 uh, there we go. Uh, and then submit. So then, nice one. You get your marks back shortly. They go view score, and it gives them a mark out of 10. So I only got 3 out of 10. Jeez, that sucks. Thought it'd do better than that. Um, it tells them what the correct answer is, right? Shows them whether, uh, you know, if they got it right, if they got it wrong, so on and so forth, right? So then once all your students have done that, you then get the data um, in your form over here. Where is it? Um, 2019 one. We should have one response here now. So you can see Aaron Madrich's responses. I got three out of 10, and it tells you where I did, what I did, etc. It'll look different once all your kids do it. Okay, the, that's how the multiple choice one works. The short and long responses is a little bit different. Um, that one I'll quickly preview for you. First thing we need to do is put your email address in. Stress to your kids, make sure they use their school email address because if they put in there, you know, uh, I rock at hotmail.com, whatever, you're not going to know who's done it. So make sure their first and last name is in the email address. Then um, here's the 2019 short and long responses. Um, they just go through and they answer whatever, I'll just type in whatever for now. That's the short responses, they go next, then they've got to do the long responses, right? Now, when I go submit, it's gonna show up with this. After you submit your form, your mark will automatically come back at zero. This is only until I mark it and send you your actual result, hopefully still not zero. Once you have clicked view score here, please read through the feedback so you can see how your responses compare to what is expected. So the kid's gonna go click view score, and then it's gonna show them here, starting here, question 11. They answered whatever they answered. 
it's going to, they're all going to come up as wrong because we haven't marked it yet. Um, but it gives them the feedback here, which they should read through. This is exactly copied from the sample answers or the marking guidelines or whatever from the HSC past paper, right? So then they can look at these and say, oh, okay, this is what I should have included in my answer. That's good. I'll make sure I include that next time. So the feedback um, for every question, they can read through those and make sure they start getting an idea of what their answers should include. All right, so that's that. And then your job is to go into responses once all your kids have done it, and you've just got to quickly go through and mark them. So the easiest way to do it is probably by individual, or you can do it by question. Um, so we go to question one. This is for, my, for your first kid. Their answer was that. How'd they go? They get one out of one? Good. Bump them up to one. How do they go for this one? It's out of two. Oh, you only got one. This one, yeah, you got three out of three. Bump it up to three. Do this for all of them. Um, mark them all. Give them whatever mark they got. Um, five out of five and two out of five, whatever. Then, uh, oops, sorry, that thing's in the way. Then you go save. And then, so they got 16 out of 30 for the short and long responses. All you need to do now is go into... Um, you, you got to click here, release score, and then all your kids' names will come up here and you go send emails and release. Then it'll send the kids an email back. It'll tell them their score and any feedback you've given them, you can write in there, okay? You can also add individual feedback if you want, but you want to add more than the sample answer. So you can go here and type in a little bit extra, but I'm not going to do that. I can't be bothered. Um, so, yeah, that's basically how it works. Hopefully that all made sense. I don't know if I went through that too quickly. But that's the general, you know, just behind it. Um, you get, yeah, you get really great data when your whole class does it. It really, and if the kids practice, you know, the past 10 years of past papers, by the time the actual HSC rolls around, they'll smoke it. Um, they'll do a really good job. So, um, yeah, feel free to use all of those. Um, make sure, you know, you go through, click all these links, save them in the folder, and then upload them into your Google Classroom just like this. All right. Um, anything else I need to go through before I finish the video? Um, no, I think that's it. Um, yeah, cool. Well, good luck with it. Hope they do well. Catch up.